What is going on guys, Jack is a zombie here, and we are back on the V4 Vanilla server. And if you guys remember, last time we were here, we uh, did a bit of work on a furnace setup that I have. And I don't know if I actually showed you guys, I have a, a little beeline now that takes me straight back to uh, where my main base is from my little farming area there. But what we did last is... Uh, it was a farming setup with a, an auto smelt type of dealio or an auto shut off. And that is right over here. So, uh, what this is, is this fills all the furnaces. And that's not automatic, but this side is automatic. So, you put what you want to smelt in here. And a little sneak peek on what's going on today. And then, uh, <laughs> second sneak peek. And you push the button, and it will go and run until this minecart here is empty. But what we are doing today is, if you can tell, I have kind of a bit of a pathway cleared out through here. At least up until this point, it is going to continue off and around that direction. But we are going to finally start getting some paths in here and get that figured out. That is just going to be a simple oak log and uh, I do need fences also. It's going to be oak logs, leaves, and oak fences which I am kinda hurting for so that's not good um ch -ch -ch -ch. I can at least show you guys what we're going for here though if I just clear a little bit of room um how do we want to do this I think it's one two three and then that's going to be logs along here same for this side not there here do do and do perfect oh, oh, oh. And there's going to be leaves here. I'm just going to leave that open for now. Oh, dudes. We also need a... Uh, and yes, I did just call you guys dudes. We need... Oh. Oh, okay. We don't have any oak wood stairs. So I am definitely hurting for the oak. But we're going to have stairs along here. And next to our stairs, we will have little pillars like this. Do do. This, I feel, is going to need to be shaved all the way off, so we're just gonna get rid of that right now. Uh -huh. And boop boop. On these, we will have our torches for lighting. Beautiful. And how did I do this? This was back down into the ground. So like that. Boom 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 boom. Another. Yep, another lift guy here. Bonk bonk. Eh, go there. Thank you. Boom, boom, and I believe this continues in this direction from here, but yes, yes it does, okay. So it goes over to there with this level, and I believe there's stairs there again, so let's just double this up, put that there, get rid of that guy, we don't need that light anymore. And it's going to be the same along this whole back wall. But this is all going to have to be really shaved out because I did this in a very spectacular way. And by spectacular, I mean I kind of did a little fake cave right here. But it does look good, don't get me wrong. I'm just going to do this little part and then I'll start getting the... Oh, geez, that's going to drive some of you guys nuts. I'm going to start getting these guys in. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Just trying to uh, give you an idea of what it's going to look like before we actually... Uh, get too much done here, which I can't really do too much now that I'm looking at it. Oh, and let's do this as well. Okay, okay, do, 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 shovel, please. Okay, what is on this? Okay, no efficiency, that's why that was so slow. That's fine. I was just scared that I was going to destroy the whole world here. So, let's do a bit of the leaf process also here. Ow. Oh, you hacker. I knew he was going to try and do something like that. I hate him. I hate him so bad. <laughs> what a jerk. Alright, so it's going to be a mixture of jungle and oak leaves. And I do have screenshots pulled up because I have these in a very particular way. And I don't quite know how to see what we're doing. I think it's like that. So the way it is, it's a 5 to 4 ratio, 5 oak to 4, that was weird. Did you guys see that frame? 
Huh. So it's a five oak to four jungle ratio, and I have them set up to uh, where it makes me comfortable that they're far enough away and look mixed enough, and also not to the point where they are identical with uh, other levels here. Um, let me get some stairs. We'll finish off this first little part, and then I'm going to do a little bit off camera, but I want you guys to at least... I went all the way up here for this when I could have just done it from the bottom floor. I want to get uh, just enough done to where I can show you guys what it's going to look like, though, and then I'll finish a bit off camera and come back to you guys. But for this part, boop and boop. So that's kind of what we're going to be working with for the uh, walkways. Oh, there's a screenshot. And I think we should be good as far as light level in this area. So there's nine and nine. So yeah, we're perfect on the light level. But I will get some more of this cleared out. See like this right here, this is gonna have to go. And uh, I do have something really awesome to go up here because uh, where this walkway spirals around here, like right here, this is going to be lifted up and it's gonna come up above like right about here at eye level. And then down here, I have a really awesome way of holding that walkway up. So you guys will get to see that in just a moment. Okay, uh, that's the wrong box. This is the box we need. Um, I wanted to do a little uh, check-in with you guys because we are running out of uh, materials, mainly jungle leaves. I have 28 left. I've still got plenty of oak. Um, I think we're, yeah, we're low on oak logs as well. I have done quite a bit, though. Uh, you can see this is quite ugly here. But uh, I've got a lot of the path in. And I even have a, a little spot over here. This part, I didn't worry about that yet because I have no idea what I'm building down here. The path, I did continue to this point. But, uh, I don't I don't know. Because there's a, there's a lot of lava down there, so I don't want to take the wood in there too early. I have to clear the lava first. But I got this all the way up here. I do have a little path over here. It's not fully grown yet, but I figured it was grown enough to where I could show you guys. Grew a little grass, fill that in, and then uh, it comes up and spirals up this way. And I don't know if I've actually shown this part of the cave. I am not going to be using this up here. That just goes up. I think it actually might touch the surface somewhere if I can hop up here. Yeah, I think that spot right there is, uh, that's surface. Yep, right there. You see the water? But we're not going to use that. Where the spiral is going is off into this direction, which you can see I haven't even explored all of this yet, but I've explored enough to... I've explored enough to know that I do want to be... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was wondering if he was going to see me. Um... Like I was saying, I explored enough to the point where I know I do want to come over here because of this big open area here, and then that goes back up and around. There's a couple spots down there that I want to use, and uh, I just feel like this is a really great looking spot, and I can probably put something special up in there. But for now, we are just going to be working with the bottom part, and that is why I started the paths down there, and they're... they're it's going to come up, and uh, right here I have a big spiral staircase planned. So it's just going to zoop, 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 all the way up. Good old zoop, zoop. But this is what we have. I, uh, I have this to get on and off this pathway. I like it, but I feel like if I want to do any type of transition for it, it's going to be very difficult. So I might actually just continue this pathway all throughout this entire home part of my base. And, uh, like, I'm completely okay with that, but I feel like it might get a little boring or monotonous, I guess. Because it's all going to be pretty much the same thing. Is this dark? No. No, it is not. We still have a, a black level, or black light of nine over there. Um, this part. This part's going to be, uh, fun. Do I have... I do. Okay, so I need one bucket. We're going to get this done right now. Perfect. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's not where I wanted that. Uh, no, this. Thank you. This is going to be um, a waterfall going down into a, a lake down here. And I don't remember exactly where I had the water level. I feel like it was here. 
Like right here, I believe, was water height. Yeah, we're going to go with that. So I'm just going to start filling this guy in here. Boop, boop, boop. No, this one. Thank you. Boom. Ah, Jesus. I think I did it again. We're fine. I don't like having uh, dead spots like underneath. So I will be filling this all in in the most annoying of ways. See, like that right there, that's a dead spot. Perfect. Now we have it. Okay. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to get the waterfall in, and then I'll give you guys another update. I can't finish this part yet because I do have a little more that goes down in here that I don't have yet. But I'm going to get what I can done, and then I'll give you guys an update. And uh, that ugly spot there, I am also going to take care of that before I come back with you because I think I do have the materials for that. So you will see how I have that planned out. But I will again be right back. We are checking back in once again, and I'm actually on my way over to Fanakwa's house, right there at the top of the board. And um, I'm going to buy some lily pads from him. I offered him one diamond for three of the lily pads. I've never actually been to his place either, so I figured I would uh, start recording and... Holy crap. I figured I would start recording and uh, see what's going on over at his place with you guys. Ah, oh, see, he's got a village over here. Long bridge. Uh, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Am I heading? Oh. All right. Um. Huh. Well, now we're back up here. Okay, so that was weird. I don't know what happened there, but uh, hopefully it didn't screw up recording or anything. I don't think it did. Oh, so we got a little diving board. Look at that. Oh, it didn't even... Alrighty. Okay, so that was very weird. But um, I've never been here before. I don't know where he has anything. I see a little pond area. You got a little some chairs set up. You got a little picnic. Ooh. Uh. Who? Why is... I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for your friend. Ooh, whoa. Not for me. Um, I see farms. I see, I see villages. I don't see a Fanakwa anywhere. I see a lot of animals. I'm guessing I hit across the bridge though, right? That'd be like the, the logical way of thinking of it. Because it seems like the only place that's uh, got anything finished, really. Okay, I see more stuff down there. There's another bridge. Oh, man, he has the most awesome landscapes around here. What is that? Look like dark oak. Way off in the background there. But where is something that says civilization? I don't see a thing. Maybe over not here. Maybe. Huh. Wait, who am I buying from? Who am I? Oh, hungry. <laughs> All right, I'm at the wrong person's base. <laughs> okay, so I read the chat wrong is what I did. I assume that I was uh, talking to the same person the whole time, but apparently they flip-flopped it on me. So I am going to meet a hungry. I guess I'll head back through the portal. That's kind of dumb. But uh, for anybody wondering, this is this is what Fanaka's place looks like. So there you go. All right, we are back at the hub, and we are looking for hungry squeed. I don't think I've been to his place either. I don't know who that is. Uh, RJ. No idea. Huh. Kari and Fanakwa. So where is Hungry's tunnel? Where your tunnel at? I think oh, that's so horrible. I need to start paying attention, <laughs> or at least include a name in everything I say. Let's just see what's going on. Oh, right there. Hello. Yeah, I told him I didn't check the name. <laughs> Hi, Hungry. Ooh. 
Ooh, three lily pads. All right. So now we can actually go and uh, finish what we were doing because I'm apparently not very smart. Sorry, scratching my nose, so we're running sideways here a little bit. Okay, we're fine. And don't. Don't. Get out of the way. Okay. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, God. Dang it, you stupid pecker. Okay. We'll follow him. That's fine. Unless he bumps somebody and comes flying back. Then we're going to have a problem. He seems like he's going just fine. I want to take the express route. Oh. And there's him. Perfect. There's mine. Perfect. Back to the home base. And prepare for lag. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we still get that same problem. My frames go so horrible. Yeah, see that? All I have to do is do the uh, the old F3A to reset the visuals, and it's right back to normal. But, like, just coming into the world, it messes things up horribly. I don't... I had a very specific place I wanted these down here. Um, where is... One of these is... Uh-huh. Mm, this one? Okay. Sorry, I'm on my uh, my other screen here doing a, a second instance of Minecraft. Alright, we have... There, there, there. Okay, so... Corner... Not corner, not corner. Perfect. Okay, so... Boop. Boop. Corner. And here. And here. Ta-da! And the reason I wanted them in those specific spots is so they uh, they turn certain ways because, I don't know if you guys are aware of that, certain placements of blocks, like the uh, the coordinates on the uh, X, Y, and Z will affect the direction when it's a, a multi-block like that. Like, uh, where can I show? I don't think I can show. Um, it has to do with uh, textures like, no, I didn't even put it there. Oh, here. Uh, no, that's only one. That's not going to help. You know what? Let's just grab some blocks really quick. Hey, speaking of blocks, did I show you guys that I actually uh, I updated my texture pack and I changed my um, not that, this my TNT texture. So I retextured it completely, which looks wonderful. Where'd you go? Hello. I'm gonna place you over here to check the bottom. See, the bottom has a little cracks on it. It's got a double board on the bottom holding it, and um. The reason I wanted to put it over there is because uh, I've got redstone everywhere else. And I actually made it TNT, or <laughs> I made it 3D also. Of course it's TNT, but uh, I made it 3D so you can like see the TNT sitting inside the box. And I, I, think, I think I might have showed you that before, but just in case I haven't, there you go. It's nice and beautiful. This, hey, you are going to go over there with me later. But here's this nice big tree I put in here to uh, kind of wrap up that ugly spot. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a lot, lot better. And I've got the waterfall coming down into a little pond here. All of that is dark. Then there's a little ledge back there. All of that is spawnable, but I have checked and double checked and triple checked. They cannot get through anywhere. So things will be able to spawn, but they will have zero effect on me. That was the wrong block. Do I have stone? I do have stone. Oh. So they won't be able to get out, so no matter what I do inside my base, they will be nicely trapped up in the little hole. They can't even get out over here because they won't see that as a, a space. And then, of course, they're not going to uh, know to walk on that. They see this as a hole block, so this is out of bounds. They won't even walk over on this edge. But as a people, you can easily just come and hop right on over. But I think that's about all the work I'm going to do for today. Not because I don't want to continue doing work, but because I am back down, almost out of resources. So, I'm going to call it for here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I love and appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you in the next one.